Hi everyone, this is Joanne Fink from Zenspirations, and today I'm going to letter the word inspire on my iPad in the program Procreate using a brush that I designed myself. And since I do like to be able to flourish, If I don't like that, I'm going to make it smaller here so I have plenty of room to flourish. There, I like that better. One of the many things that I like about Procreate is that I can design my own uh, brushes and also I can go in and get pretty close to the letters and if I think that doesn't have enough curve I can add a little bit of curve I can thicken this up and sometimes I'll spend, you know, quite a long time touching my lettering up and I do like to add a little bit of weight around the curve so I can do that and fill it in. I think that this probably still needs a little bit more weight on the side of the R, but right now I want to show you how I color the letters. So what I'm doing is selecting this. So all I will be able to do is affect uh, change on the letters themselves and then I put it on the airbrush and I'm making my brush pretty large and I'm just going to uh, change color moving across so going from red to pink I didn't change that to come on you can change now I see it, it's changed, um, to the blue, into a teal, and finally into a green. And I can do the same or the opposite down at the bottom. Maybe we'll even add a little bit of yellow and orange down here. And I find that the um, pink is a universal blender when I'm changing from the blues to the oranges because the pink blends nicely both with the blue and with the orange. And since I very much love hearts and want to um, have a cute little pink heart, I'm making the brush smaller so I don't get that pink in other places where I don't want it. So I might want a little bit of pink just to show the difference. Coming through there. Um, and now what I can do is duplicate the layer and give a drop shadow by filling it with black and then moving the drop shadow so it's slightly off and I can see that it just highlights the letters. And then I made a logo brush and I put it on a kind of pale color because 
I don't want the uh, the logo to be the feature of this. And there we have the word inspire done in Procreate. And now I will take a screenshot and just adjust the size a little bit. I'm done saving it to photos and voila, I hope that inspires you to try your own lettering. Stays inspired, everyone.